Welcome students, Mr. Snyder Sevilla. Um, I'm still busy with the N5 Excel functions. In this particular clip, I'll be working with the if function. What is the if function? Uh, the if function tests if a particular condition has been met and performs one of two actions based on the result. Uh, example, if the condition is true, the first action is performed. If the condition is false, the second action is performed. So we have the argument over here, the statement. So it's equal to if the logical test, the value if true, if the condition is met, and the value if false, if the condition has not been met. So the if function uses the following arguments, the logical test, which is the condition that will be evaluated. Um, remember, we'll be using the operators again. And then the second argument will be the value if true, the action that will be performed if the result of the logical test is true. The third argument, the value if false. So the action will be, be performed if the result of the logical test is false. So what is values? Values is an empty cell, it's a number, it's a cell difference, it's a calculation, it could even be ticks. Insert the double quotation mark around the ticks. It would be symbolized as a value. So I have a scenario here. I the 10 top 10 marketers and I want to give them an incentive if they meet the criteria of more than 2,400 rands of sales. Um, so incentive should be the first one, which should be true, and blank should be false. So you're wondering, so values, text with quotation marks, I'll explain that now to you. So it's equal to if I'm going to select the cell, um, then it would be greater than, I can type in 2,400, separated by the semicolon, put in my inverted comma there, and now value, if it's true, it should be incentive. I'm going to close my inverted comma, separate it, and value is false, my inverted comma. Now I want this blank, so I'm going to put the space and my inverted comma. So it will be two inverted commas next to each other with nothing in between. That's what I meant with text. Insert the double quotation mark around the text, but there's no text, it will be blank. And I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to press enter. So I know that Chanel has not met the criteria, so it's blank. And I'm going to drag the answer down. So Andy Seaway, 2500, Zintle, Lydia, and Jade. So they have met the criteria, so they will be getting the incentive. I'm going to do another one right next to it, using the criteria over here. It's the same criteria. I typed in 2,400, but I will be clicking on this. So it's equal to F, open the bracket, select the range or the cell. More than, I'm going to click on this, but now remember I need to latch onto this. I'm going to use F4, absolute cell referencing. I'm going to semicolon separate it, put my true statement there, and my true statement would be incentive, close my inverted comma, separate it with a semicolon, my inverted comma, and my inverted comma again, blank, and I'm going to close it. I'm going to press enter, and I'll drag this down. Um, let me do another one. So, if it's true, it will be incentive. And if it's false, it should be no incentive. So, let's 
it's in that, so it's equal to if click on my cell range, it's more than I'm gonna latch on to 2400 my criteria against it. It's a four semicolon inverted commas incentive. Close my inverted comma semicolon and now open my inverted comma and I'm gonna say um, no incentive and I'm gonna close my inverted comma, close my bracket and enter. And I'll track that down. So I don't want blank cells, I will have to put in my false value as well. So the if function is very really easy. All you need to know, you need to understand the argument. It's one logical test, two, the value of true, value false. And that's it. I hope this video clip assisted you. Thank you.